Good afternoon all. It's the continuing saga of the Merry Christmas sign. And it is a bit of a a bit of a saga. Nineteen of these little uh, component cluster modules. And I am getting better at making these now. So I'm pre-fitting things like the resistor on a short length of wire. This is the 100k linking resistor that links the sections together. Uh, this is how it works. 100k comes from the collector of the previous transistor and into the base of this transistor, if you want to call it that. Uh, 1k there is bedded in at that point, and uh, VCC goes to the other side of that 1k resistor. So yeah, this is the new style cluster. It's getting quite good. And this one's going here, so in the CHR. This is the R of Christmas, so uh, that's going to go in there. Actually, I think possibly with the transistor. Oh, I've kind of bent it in a strange way. Perhaps the transistor will go on top on this one. Nah, it's sitting a bit proud. Ah, oh, no, I think this is all right. Uh, here's the resistor to base, which is coming from the previous section, because actually the pattern rotates around this way. Uh, on the bottom, it's running backwards along Christmas, and on the top, it runs forwards along Merry. Got to keep remembering these things, otherwise I'm going to make a mistake. Uh, POS comes into that resistor. NEG actually needs to go down there somewhere, so I'm going to need to get to that. And then this wire goes the other way uh, to the next section's base. Uh, oh, and there's the, there's the resistor there, ready to take it. Good. Right, let's solder some uh, power ring main on. Right, five stages are now complete, so I can uh, get this to oscillate again. Now I've got my PP3 clip here, so it's a bit easier now. I just clip that on there. Uh, for some reason, the red sections seem to come on when it's in its... Oh, it's probably because of where I've split it, but anyway. Let's join the uh, input resistor of that stage to the output from the collector of this stage. Let's just touch those together. And yes, that's oscillating. It's still a bit fast to see that it's a five stage oscillation, but that's certainly working. Uh, I've got three greens and two reds. Uh, right, plow on. Let's go to seven stages. And at that point, I can test it again. Right, I'm now at seven stages, and that's taken a couple more days because, well, it's Christmas, so there's all sorts of like family things and shopping and stuff that's getting in the way of my Christmas sign build. Uh, so it's all getting a bit uh, tight for time now. Uh, okay, so I've got seven stages. That means I can connect uh, the output of the seventh to the input of the first. Let's turn the lights off so that we can see the LEDs. The green ones are now coming on in the uh, unconnected state. Let's uh, connect it up. And yeah, we're starting to get a, uh, a sort of sense that there's movement around the ring of LEDs. Uh, it's uh, movement through the greens and then movement through the reds. Yeah, that's looking good. Now, at some point fairly soon, I need to uh, make a decision on how I'm going to connect the feedback wire. So there's a connector from uh, one point of the ring of 19. It'll be 19 LEDs in total through to somewhere on the other side. I can't quite remember the numbering. I think they were 14 apart or something. And that wire will run through this convenient bridge point here, but there's lots of sort of plastic there. I think that's where the injection molding uh, plastic was squirted in and then it flowed out through all these areas. So I think I need to drill a hole through that midpoint. So I've got to drill in through here, trying not to uh, go out to the front of the sign. Yeah, that's pretty good. See if I can make that join up on the other side. I think that's joined up. So can I thread a wire through from that side uh, to the other side through this hole I've drilled? Not if I can't find the hole. Oh, there we are. Yes, that goes through. That's good. Right, let's plow on. Need more stages. Could be an all-nighter.